Juice Crypto Talks. My name is Xavier. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe for more content and further videos. In this video today, folks, we're going to be talking about the recession. Now, I know I've been actually, I've made a couple videos in the past about what's going on with this. And there were a lot of short videos, but I want to share with you some information and what's really happening uh, as you guys know, we are moving towards a change in the economy and what's happening with the dollar and the dollar is crashing very swiftly. <clears throat> Not only that, we are seeing a lot of countries roll out what's called the CBDC, which is the central bank digital currency. And I actually have this tracker up. You can actually go to cbdctracker.org. That's actually the website I'm on. And this last is updated news. It's been updated on the 17th. So very recently that it, this was actually updated yesterday. But we can see proof of concept. Countries already have a proof of concept already. Pakistan. Um, you can see Iran has a proof of concept called the Crypto Rye. Australia uh, is researching. We got Brazil, which already got the digital real, which is proof of concept. It's already out. And these countries that already have a proof of concept, I want to not, you know, financial advice and what's going on, but a lot of these countries are also under what's called BRICS, uh, which uh, for those who haven't done research on that, for what BRICS is, that is the new economic reform. And some of those countries in that is Brazil, China, Russia, India, and South America. Or South Africa, excuse me, but Brazil is also in that. So uh, there's other countries that are also part of BRICS. Uh, here is Brazil, Russia, India, China, South America. A lot of these countries are already have their own digital cur currency. Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Egypt. Um, Egypt recently just joined. Uh, Saudi Arabia is looking to join. There was actually a news article that I read uh, today that Saudi Arabia is looking to not use the dollar anymore and to use any other currency other than the U.S. dollar. And not only that, some, some news like Russia, China potentially developing gold-backed currency that could undermine the U.S. dollar. Folks, we are seeing that Russia and China, India, Brazil are all looking to use this gold backed currency that is going to undermine the US dollar. And this is not financial advice, but this is something that it cannot be ignored. Uh, we are moving towards a digital society for those new to this channel and those new to the crypto space. Time is it's very short, you know, um, a gold backed currency that's digital, it's way stronger than our fiat currency because we don't even use the gold standard in the United States anymore. We're trying to bring that back, but uh, we're still on fiat currency and the United States is one of the hardest countries when it comes to regulations with cryptocurrency. The SEC wants to shut down everything. Um, we have a lot of exchanges that we can't use in the United States. In order to access a lot of these exchanges, we have to use VPNs. Um, you can't get on Binance. You have to use Binance.us. You can't get on OKX. You can't get on. There's just a ton of exchanges that you can't get on uh, because of the regulations in the United States. And we're so, so far behind on the technology of innovating that we're still trying to figure out how to implement our own digital currency. Yes, we're, I do believe the United States is going to have their own some type of central bank digital currency, which is called a CBDC, but it's not going to be as strong as Russia and China's currency, um, especially not only that, there's other countries that are backing this currency, such as India, uh, South Africa, Turkey, and Saudi Arabia, which are not announcing this stuff, but if you actually do, do your research, you'll actually find that out for yourself, um, which is, and also Iran, which is looking to back up this, this currency. So I do see for Iran and Russia are developing a stable coin backed up by gold. So there's a lot of countries that are in cahoots with wanting to create this, this new economic currency um, for these countries and there's going to be a lot of other countries that are going to follow suit and they're going to want to join BRICS or they're going to want to join that this economic change and they're going to get away from the US dollar. So the reason why I'm making this video is I'm trying to give you guys some insight and then 
also not only that, help you guys prepare the best way possible for this opportunity. Now, <clears throat> again, this is not financial advice. This is a, a lifetime opportunity to really actually help your family right now. Like New, nor, U.S. Bank creates a stable coin called the AUDN. So it's happening, folks. We are seeing that these banks are creating these stable coins, but they're not really stable coin. They're 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 really centralized centralized bank digital currencies, and they will have control of your funds. They will control everything. They can tell you what to purchase and what not to purchase. And if you don't believe me, we can actually look at China. So we're going to do China digital. Yon has expired date. So the uh, the Chinese digital excuse my <laughs> typing, the Chinese digital yang has an ex exp expiration date. Uh, this was actually the article was released in December 13, 2002, uh, 22. You can look for it yourself. Um, I looked at it and done research on this. I've, um, I've written three cryptocurrency books recently um, that I'm working to get published and in my first book that I wrote about I talked about a lot about the change and what's happening but there is going to be a lot of control with these central bank digital currencies and they're going to control the way we use money they can shut it off if you did something wrong or like you didn't pay your taxes especially with the IRS or something like that they could just say they could block you out from doing anything making transactions or anything so um, with that aspect, when you, you think about that, this the type of control that these central bank digital currencies have. The only option that you have in order to not have that happen to you is to learn about cryptocurrency. So that's the reason why I created this YouTube channel is because I do see potentially a lot of people don't understand the space. A lot of people don't know how to trade. A lot of people don't know what specific cryptos to look at. Or if for those who want to get into the NFT space and this, you know, be able to soak that in. A lot of people don't know right, the right projects to look in to. So that's the reason why I created this channel is to give some insight, give some news, and this to you know share with you guys what's happening and just keep you up to date and to prepare you. And this is also helping me prepare myself because it's allowing me to do more research, prepare myself and my family so they can weather the storm. And the storm is coming, whether you like it or not. You you can either prepare for it or you can or you can suffer the consequences for not preparing. And I want to prepare as much as possible. So how can you prepare? One, look into diversifying your assets, okay? That can be cryptocurrency. You can diversify into different specific cryptos. I'm not going to tell you which ones to specifically look into right now, but do your own research you know, into ones that you like. Uh, go to certain websites. Uh, you can go to Coin Paprika. You can go to coingecko.com, uh, Coin Checkup. Those are just a couple sites that you go to that you can actually start looking into doing the research into the projects. Make sure that these projects have a utility case. Make sure they, that these projects have, excuse me, value. The next thing I would do was I would look into buying some gold and some silver because obviously if there's a and these countries are looking to back up their digital currency with gold, it's a no-brainer that the gold's price and value is going to be even more, especially if they attach it to a digital currency. So for those who are not into precious metals, not financial advice, but I advise you to start maybe looking into getting into that. You know, I'm actually just decided to purchase way more gold now also because of the aspect of that potentially, you know, a lot of these countries are going to have digital backed uh, stable coins with gold and a lot of central bank digital currencies are going to be like that. So gold's value is going to be higher than it is right now. And then silver also, its value is probably going to be high too. So I'm definitely, you know, looking to purchase that stuff. Some other things that you can look into, asset wealth. Remember, no liabilities. Don't go buy new cars or anything like that. Uh, look into other things like real estate and look into real estate that's going to actually give you a return on interest. Like real estate that you can actually buy and actually make money from. Not this buying a house and then not making no money from it. That's a liability. And right now, now is not the time to be taking liabilities. Now is the time to prepare yourself and your family. Digital dollar projects warrants U.S. cautions approach to the CBDC. So we're, we are seeing, you know, that we are moving towards this. You know, we are seeing this, you know, the global standards of the central bank digital currencies. Uh, we can also see that they actually have a white paper now, updated a white paper in DT nonprofit. So 
I mean, in the next year or two, we America is looking to have a central bank digital currency. And <clears throat> they're going to want to try to keep control as much as possible. But the issue, <clears throat> the issue at hand is there's a ton of different countries already that are joined together with Russia, uh, Brazil. And you can see Brazil's already got their proof of concept. Russia already got their proof of concept. Turkey has got their proof of concept. Isn't it coincidence that they already have their proof of concept? Uh, proof of concept and they're also under bricks it's it's a no-brainer folks you know they're they're, they're obviously there's something going on with that and um, those who you know are knowledgeable and do their research they would find out for themselves what's really going on with that um, but it, they're coming for the US dollar um, and the US dollar is potentially has a lot of pressure over it so you know, in this video, I hope this this educates with what's going on with the economy and what's happening for those that not understand why everything's happening the way it's happening. It's happening because a lot of countries now are not looking to use the dollar. A lot of these countries don't even use the dollar anymore. A lot of these countries have disbanded the dollar. I mean, Saudi Arabia doesn't even want the U.S. dollar to purchase oil. They want to use the Chinese yuan or the digital yuan to purchase oil. And they also want to use Russia to uh, the digital ruble to port your oil, or they want gold, or um, they want Bitcoin. If you want to look at that, um, they're looking at at purchasing oil through gold or cryptocurrency, not even the U.S. dollar anymore. So, what does that mean for the U.S. If no one is, these countries are not using the U.S. dollar. All those dollars get flooded back to the United States, and what happens when it happens when? Other, other parts of the world are not using our money, well then that causes inflation for our country and prices go up, everything increases and the dollar implodes. So, And that's what we're moving towards. We are moving towards the end of the US dollar being the reserve currency of the world and it won't be in the next four to five years. Not financial advice, but it won't be. We are moving towards a world where either China, Russia or China or Russia potentially will have, you know, the reserves of the number one currency in the world and they will have control. So I advise you guys to prepare yourself, learn about cryptocurrency, learn about what these central bank digital currencies are, the, the pros and the cons. There's more, there's more cons than pros. Um, honestly, there's more cons. Me personally, not financial advice, I would not want to get a central bank digital currency because I wouldn't want the government to control what I can spend my money on and when they want to shut my money off. That's just, that's just crazy. So if you want to learn how to be able to have financial freedom, you need to learn about cryptocurrency. You need to learn about decentralized currencies, some information to look at into. Look at proof of work projects, not proof of stake because proof of stake are more likely to get manipulated or to get shut down. Uh, Bitcoin is a proof of work. Uh, Ethereum was a proof of work, but now it's a proof of stake. Um, so uh, BCH is a proof of work. Litecoin is a proof of work. And there's other tons of different ones that you can look at. Monero, which is a privacy coin. So those are just a few names of different like cryptocurrencies that you can look at. I'm not going to give you a whole bunch right now. Uh, make sure that you do your own research and figure out which ones work in particular that, you know, will not be manipulated, that can't get shut down because majority of these cryptocurrencies that we do see in the marketplace right now, we have over so many, potentially a lot of these will not be here pretty soon. They're going to get shut down. They might go bankrupt. So the ones that are going to stand out the most are the ones that have utility cases, um, the ones that are proof of work projects, unless the, they shut down mining, then we might, that might cause an issue too. So uh, I encourage you guys to stay focused and I'll see you guys soon.